648 this morning, all new at 6. With the start of school now just weeks away, safety mm -hmm. is on the minds, certainly of educators. And for that reason, today, the Harris County Department of Education is hosting a school safety summit. Joining us this morning is E. Comet Burley, the HCDE Safe and Secure Schools Director. Welcome, Mr. Burley. Good morning. Glad to be here. Well, we are so glad you are hosting this mm -hmm. summit today. Tell us all about it. Well, look, this is a collaborative project between Crime Stoppers and Harris County Department of Education. Both entities have a long legacy and history of supporting mm -hmm. schools in Harris County. We're bringing in top speakers who are going to be sharing on different topics that deal with school safety. Uh, for example, we'll be talking to them about de-escalation strategies that they can use, school resource officers can use, and teachers can use in the classroom, mental health health in schools and officer administrative relationships. So we're going to cover a broad array of topics that deal with school safety and we're excited about the turnout. It looks mm -hmm. like it's going to be a good one. Uh, the, the issue of security in our schools seems to be an evolutionary one and there are some who just keep kind of wanting to march it to a more strict and strict environment. It doesn't always work. It's not always the best way. It's an individual situation, I would imagine, isn't it? Well, you know what? I'm glad you mentioned that because one of the sessions deals with uh, restorative discipline practices, which is an alternative to the uh, traditional, maybe uh, some would describe as a punitive model, All right. where this is more of a relational model. You're still holding the children accountable for their behavior, but you're more or less trying to get to the root cause of that behavior, and you stress, import stress relationship building, accountability, and how to repair the harm that's caused when something happens in the school setting. You know, and given what we've seen these last couple of, of months here in society, yes. are law enforcement and also school security on campus, are they handling things different this year than they have in the past? Yes, they're evolving as well. The state has put a, lot, a strong emphasis on any school district now with 30,000 student enrollment, House Bill 2684 is requiring them to receive training on de-escalation mm -hmm. strategies, restorative practices, uh, cultural competencies. So we all are evolving in the school system to meet the needs of schools today. Mm -hmm. How, um, I guess, as, as parents send their kids to school, um, how secure should they feel that this environment is with all of the things that are kind of mulling around in their head? They, they should feel very confident because educators respond very well. We've been watching the trends that are things that are happening in our nation today and in society and we respond to that because sometimes those things end up coming to the schoolhouse door. So they should feel very secure. Uh, law, the laws and policies now require them to have uh, emergency management plans in place and protocols to respond to different mm -hmm. hazards and incidents that could happen. Mm -hmm. So they really work hard and diligent, and our goal is to support that effort in doing that by providing events like we're doing today. All right, Mr. Burley, thanks so much for coming in. We really appreciate it. Great information there. Thanks for having me. Thank you, sir. Thank you.